I was just going to say, you know, there's the right as the season ends and we move on, there's the way too early polls. And you know, we <laughs> hate early polls, but man, I'm not going to lie. It is fun to see Texas oh, Tech like coming up. Yeah. It feels good to be like a top 25 team, you know, yeah, for everybody's or something like that. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, I'll take whatever at this point. Because it, it's been so long since we've been even close to that discussion. So the fact that uh, some people in their way too early polls have us ranked, like, uh, it, I forgot what that feeling was like. I'm not going to lie. Yeah, I don't know what that feels like either. I didn't even so, know when the last time we were ranked was. Yeah, I'm trying to look that up. <laughs> it had to be like a Cliff Kingsbury era year. I feel uh, well, the first year of Wells, we were good. I don't think we uh I don't think we were ranked at all that year. I think it had to be if if I had to guess it would be after we beat Oklahoma State in Stillwater with Alan Bowman, uh and the new the newest Oklahoma State quarterback. Uh that would be my guess of of the year. It has been five years. So that was twenty twenty eighteen week five. We were twenty fifth for that one and that was week. Yeah, yeah. Five, I think I'm right. One time. I think I'm right. I think it was after we beat Oklahoma State. Mm-hmm. And in 2017, we were only went ranked for one week also. Yeah. Woo. Yeah, I used to always, I used to always be like, don't rank us, because as soon as you rank us, it means we're going to freaking lose. Too, from 13 to 6, like 14, 15, 16, we were not ranked at all. And those were the Patrick Holmes years. <laughs> so in the past 10 seasons, we've been ranked two times in two separate seasons for one week each. There's your stat of the day. <laughs> Gosh. Hopefully times are changing. Start yeah. 2023 ranked and break that five year streak. Looking forward to it. Catch y'all at the next tailgate. <laughs>